What's up, everybody? Stevie B here of Dynasty Life Fantasy Football. And today we're going over three undervalued wide receivers right now in your dynasty startups. Guys that are just being way undervalued. People are not really paying attention to them. And I'm scooping them up really late in all of my dynasty startups. Because in those later rounds, this is what we're looking for. We're looking for upside. We're looking for an increase in value. Okay, we're looking for guys that can increase in value before that season starts or during the season. Because in our startup drafts, especially late, we want to try and accumulate as much value as we can or as many assets as we can that we think are going to increase in value so that we can either move those pieces or, of course, we can use those pieces on our dynasty team. But before we get into it, guys, just do me a quick favor there. Hit that like, hit that subscribe if you do play dynasty fantasy football. But let's get right into it. The first undervalued wide receiver right now, the man on the cover, Wandell Robinson. Obviously got injured last year, done for the season, tore the ACL. But right before he tore the ACL, we see he had, you know, 13 targets. You know, a couple games before that, four targets, eight targets. So slowly starting to get accumulated in the offense, heavily involved right before he got injured, which is really encouraging in this offense where they just re-signed Danny Jones. So you got Danny Jones coming back. And I think they have a role for Wondell Robinson and they want to get him the ball you know, in these short and intermediate situations, nice little PPR guy to have. I don't think he's a wide receiver one at all. I do believe they go out and draft somebody or they go out and bring somebody in. But I believe Wanda Robinson is going to be that short role wide receiver for them going forward. So excited for Wanda Robinson. And I love scooping him up really late in drafts. The second wide receiver that we are looking at that is tremendously undervalued is going to be Alec Pierce. Alec Pierce didn't finish really with a great season. Obviously, the offense was horrendous. You do have Michael Pittman there. But Alec Pierce played pretty well considering everything, you know, that was going on there. Late round guy that you can draft last year in your rookie drafts. And if you look at reception perception, what Matt Harmon comes out with, you know, for the rookies as of last year, this was Alec Pierce's coming in. I mean, 70th percentile versus men, 68th versus press, but 70 70 and 70 pretty much like straight across the board and obviously that can increase once we get to the nfl um but to be you know 70 69 to 70 is a pretty good indicator by reception perception standards 75 against men 80 against zone and 80 against press puts you in that elite wide receiver tier now we're not saying that alec pierce is elite or that he's going to be elite or that he might be elite that's not what we're saying at all what I'm saying is that he has an opportunity to just increase in value, okay, with his play. He's a young wide receiver, first year wide receiver last year. And compared to what all the other wide receivers did or some of those other wide receivers did, Alec Pierce is almost being forgotten about, right? Obviously, the Colt situation isn't ideal. They need a quarterback, of course. Now the time is to get him for cheap. You know, in your drafts, you can draft him tremendously late. And he just, again, he just has that opportunity to increase in value, which is exactly what we're looking for in our late round picks. Alec Pierce, I mean, didn't show a ton for us last year, but showed that he can play. That offense was just so bad. I mean, even Michael Pittman only had four touchdowns. Alec Pierce had two. So I just love him just later, later in these drafts where you can just pick him up, where you're just looking for that upside. You're not looking for guys that are going to be starting on your team. You're just looking for some bench guys. That can increase in value. Alec Pierce is one of those guys that I do like, um, you know, going into next year. And of course, they could draft a wide receiver as well. But I just I do like Alec Pierce as a number two there to Michael Pittman. And the third undervalued wide receiver we're going to talk about is Sky Moore. Love me some Sky Moore. Didn't really get a chance to play last year at all. Not sure if it was just the scheme and, and just kind of slowly bringing him in towards it or if he just wasn't that good or not, which I don't believe is the actual case. Unfortunately, they had him on punt return last year. Andy Reid did apologize about that, said he never should have did that. Sky Moore has never received punts before. But he's so good with the ball in his hands that I think the Chiefs just wanted to get the ball in his hands in some way, shape, or form. Um, but, yeah, I mean, exciting end to the year. Last year, had the touchdown in the Super Bowl, had seven targets the game before that in the AFC Championship. I mean, when he did play and he was on the field running routes, like he was getting thrown the football. I mean, we saw even in that one game, uh, I don't remember exactly which game it was, but the fourth quarter in overtime, he made like two really good clutch catches for Patrick Mahomes. And that was really good to see for Sky Moore. And if we're looking at Sky Moore, if we look at, you know, his reception perception from last year, but it just goes to show you that Sky Moore is a tremendous route runner. Okay. He's great 
in and out of his routes. And with Patrick Mahomes, that can be very effective. So I'm excited for Sky Moore and just the potential that he has. So going into next year, I mean, all we have is Darius Tony, MVS, and Sky Moore. They signed Richie James, which I'm not really worried about that. They also re-signed Justin Watson. Not too crazy worried about that. That guy had a crazy drop percentage um, last year. Not sure exactly what they're thinking there, but he does know the offense. So being all of those variables, as well as Kadarius Tony not being able to stay healthy ever, I think that Sky Moore has a really good chance to set a role for himself in this offense. So we'll see what happens now. Hopefully they don't draft anybody or bring anybody else in. I don't believe that they will or draft anybody at least high at least. Um, they won last year pretty much with this group, you know, only missing Juju. So they don't need tremendous help at wide receiver. They do have Patrick Mahomes. They do have some good skill players. You got Sky Moore. You got Kadarius Tony. So excited for Sky Moore going into next season. Tremendously late, you can draft him, which is exactly what we're looking for on our dynasty teams, especially in our startup. How to wrap it up for this video, guys. That's the three guys that I'm looking at right now that are tremendously undervalued and I'm trying to scoop up late in my dynasty startup draft. So let me know what you guys think down there in the comments. Do you agree with some of these guys? Do you don't? Do you have some other guys that you feel are undervalued as well? Again, we're just looking for that upside. We're looking for value to increase so that we can either trade these guys or, of course, we can use them on our team. Most importantly, exactly what we're looking for in these later rounds. We're looking for upside. We're looking for these guys to increase in value. So just let me know what you guys think down there in the comments. Appreciate y'all. Just hit that like, hit that subscribe if you do play Dynasty Fantasy Football. See y'all in the next one.